Guys, this is so funny. Max is barking at the unicorn float. All right, guys, happy vlog. I have on a top. Sarah, if you're watching, I still have your top from last year. Um, it's a nice day. It's uh, Saturday. Mama Fearless is here. We're having a socially distant hangout session outside. Stay Hola. six feet apart, but we need to see each other because my mental health needs. My to mom see, needs yeah. to see me. I need to see you. She lives alone. There ain't enough Prozac in the world. I need my kid. <laughs> Max has been doing it for her. Guys, we have the best story. So <laughs> Max got out. So we have this fenced in area of my backyard and there's like tiny gaps under certain parts of the fence that he squeezes through. And we like decided to like fill it up with rocks so he couldn't like get through it and we could let him just like roam around in the fenced in area. And when Max gets out, he thinks it's like playtime, like we're just playing. Yeah, like we're playing catch or tag or something. And no, no, no. <laughs> we had to chase him through three of my neighbor's lawns and we were diving. Diving. Diving to the floor to catch him. Diving. It was actually comical. Like that was the funniest. I have grass stains on my knees. You that I wish I had that filmed. The one dive you did, girl. You and your legs were spread, and you just went right down. <laughs> oh my god! And then my neighbors, thankfully, were super nice and like helped us, and their kids helped us chase him. <laughs> it, was, it was a whole thing. So. Oh my god! It was exhausting. We both peed in our pants a little bit. Yep. Yep. Uh -huh. That's that's just that's, that's what it. happened. That's life. Yep. That's called life. Okay, you're chasing a little seven pound dog, you're bound to pee in your pants. I wish you guys could have seen it, it was crazy. But, you know, I'm glad they did. Yeah, actually, it's probably better you didn't see it. Um, but yeah, we've been just eating lunch, hanging out outside, catching some sun. The pool's open, but it's like not warm enough yet to put the heater on. Probably Ooh. next week we'll swim. But we got some tanning going. Oh my god, look at my toenail. Like, it has like a grass stain on it or oh dirt. Oh my god. From. That was something. I'm telling you, that was something. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. Oh, you're crazy. I'll give you a fresh potty here when I come back next week to watch. Uh, listen to your heart. Oh, yeah, guys. We have one episode left of Listen to Your Heart. Let me know if you guys have been watching it down below. So I've been listening to Nick Files' what are you podcast. Doing right now? Is this a vlog or an Instagram live? It's a vlog. Okay. I've been watching um, or listening to the Vile Files, the podcast. And, like, I feel like everyone hates Listen to Your Heart. Like, they think it's just, like, silly, and I don't know. Really? Nick's, like, warmed up to it, but, like, a lot of people are just, like, shitting on it. I like it a I lot. like it, too. I like it a lot. It's just, like, Bachelor in Paradise with music, and who doesn't love music? Yeah. Oh, my God. Why are people shitting on it? I don't know. They just think it's, like, silly. Let us know down below what you guys think. Okay, guys. It's later now. Um, we eat out on Friday and Saturday night. That's the nights we uh, treat ourselves. So we got Mexican tonight. Look at this quesadilla. Oh my God. Show X game mode. What you got over there? X game mode. I got some, uh, they call it Papa Nachos. And this is my Papa. Hey. That's, I'm, is that weird to say? I don't know. <laughs> he calls me Mama, I call him Papa. So it, it, it works, it works. It's an, it's, a, it's an endearment term. Yeah, let's not, let's not make it weird. Yeah, let's not make it weird. So it's, uh, potato skins. Did you know that that's what they were? Yeah. Oh, thank God. I was about to say, like, he's going to be so upset. Those are no. potato skins. Potato skins. Stuffed potato skins with yeah. shredded chicken. Oh. Um, pico de gallo. We got some guacamole, some sour cream. That looks good. Some cilantro. Looks really good. Go on in. Go Just in. It it. Just do it. Just do it. Just do it. Um, we're going to watch the finale of Hollywood. I'm excited. That last episode, episode six, killed us. Who else is, are your viewers watching? Let me know. Hollywood? I don't know if they are. You guys will have to you comment do. if you guys are watching Hollywood. If not, 10 out of 10 recommend on Netflix. And it brings me back to Glee Days with Darren Chris. Good morning. Happy Sunday, everyone. Yara and I just spent the morning chilling in bed and now making some breakfast for us. Rolling out the pup the puffs so someone left a comment 
saying that it's extremely rude that Yar does not cook for me and that even though he does the dishes, it's not as much work as cooking. Listen, don't project problems onto other people. We are very happy with our situation. He helps me with so much stuff that y'all don't see on camera. He is an angel of a partner. I love to cook us dinner. He does the dishes without complaining and he always asks me if I need help and he appreciates everything I cook so much. You guys know I'm passionate about cooking. I love to cook and I love to cook for someone who appreciates it. So you know what? <laughs> That comment just like really bothered me because I have the actual most thoughtful fiance in the whole world. <laughs> this is me at the airport. Take your negativity out. <laughs> this way, out. <laughs> so it's Sunday. We try to rest on Sunday um, because during the week we both still work. So I don't know what we're gonna do today. Probably just chill. Oh, we wanna watch the new um, Michelle Obama movie on Netflix, Becoming. So we'll probably do that. I'm also really sick of comments telling me how to get rid of my acne. Listen, I'm a pro. <laughs> I have had this forever, forever, ever. I went through Accutane. I found out a lot of people have to do Accutane twice, which I didn't even know. I'm trying all sorts of things. I'm eating the healthiest I have in a long time. I just want to be left alone. Sorry, hypersensitive to criticism this morning. I think quarantine's making people extra mean. <laughs> And it's also making me extra sensitive. And that's on period. <laughs> okay guys, so we just had breakfast and I'm gonna do a quick workout. I've been trying to work out five times a week, whether it be a walk or a treadmill, just saving my mental sanity during this time. So I think I'm gonna hop on the elliptical and maybe do an obey arm workout. Guys, I have to show you, look at this beautiful bush <laughs> guys i don't know what plants are called but how beautiful is this please let me know what it is oh my god everything is blooming it's beautiful I'm wearing my fabletics one of my favorite like bright outfits don't judge me for doing the elliptical and slides i have a cut in the back of my ankle from new sneakers but <laughs> i'm gonna go ahead and hop on the elliptical now and watch some youtube I put up the uh, intensity. I am dripping sweat. So, just did that for 30 minutes, and now I'm gonna do an arm workout on the Obey app. Alright guys, it's a few hours later, I took a shower, we ate some lunch, we started this show on, I think it's Apple TV Plus, Apple Original, it's called Trying, and it's like this couple that's trying to have a baby and adopt and it's really good, they're, I think they're British, could be wrong, she sounds a little bit more Irish, I don't know, but it's really cute, really like it so far, so we're gonna do something super fun, we're gonna bake something different that I've never baked before, so I'm gonna make a carrot cake, that's like a slow cooker carrot cake. Carrot cake is Yara's favorite dessert. And yeah, I've never made it in a <laughs> crock pot before. So slow cooker carrot cake. And apparently it's like slightly healthier than original carrot cake. I don't know. Don't judge me. Here's what you need. I do know we need the carrots. So I have everything out and ready to go. So I'm using my Yeti. Um, this is just a slow cooker. Then I'm gonna use one of these liners. We need ground cloves, baking soda, and baking powder, um, pumpkin, canned pumpkin, baking vanilla, um, light brown sugar. I'm just using this Truvia one, that's all we have. 
ground cinnamon and confection sugar, I think for the icing and then whole wheat flour and carrots. So I'll show you guys how to make it. Okay, so in this bowl, I'm combining all the dry ingredients. So we have one and a half cup of whole wheat flour, one teaspoon of baking powder, one teaspoon of baking soda, one teaspoon of ground cinnamon, and a pinch of ground cloves. I've been baking like a lot during quarantine and I've definitely learned that <laughs> wet and dry ingredients should be mixed separately before they're combined. It makes like a huge difference. All right, so I am now whisking together three quarters of a cup of brown sugar and two eggs. And I'm gonna add in 15 ounces of canned pumpkin to this bowl. And then we're gonna add those two mixtures together and we gotta grate some carrots. So they only had 30 ounce jars or cans of pumpkin, so I'm gonna add half. That was an interesting sound. All right, it's about half right there. Mix this together. All right, and I literally just combined those two bowls. So now it's this nice, thicker consistency. It smells really good. And I'm now going to um, grate these carrots, make two cups worth, and then fold it into the mixture. All right, fun fact, our grater is broken. So I'm going to peel the carrots very thin and then chop them and hopefully it will be like very thin texture similar to them being grated, I hope. <laughs> First, I'm going to take some cooking spray and it says to spray inside the bag so the cake doesn't stick, which is kind of stressful because this bag is like all scrunched up. Now we're going to throw in the cake mixture and it says it will take anywhere from two and a half to three and a half hours but you have to do the toothpick test, you know, where you put the toothpick in and if it comes out clean, then it's done. And if it doesn't come out clean, then it is raw inside. <laughs> Don't worry y'all, my hands are clean. All right, I'm just gonna like spread it. We're gonna cook it on high. It looks pretty, it smells really good. Finally got that on, let's put it on high. Oh, there's a cake setting. <gasps> It has high pressure. That's what it's said to do. Amazing. Thanks, Mom, again, for getting me this for Christmas. I'll link this one down below. I like it a lot. Two and a half hours. Perfect. All right. Now we clean up. All right. It's been two and a half hours. Just turned it off. Oh, it's definitely got some, some more time to go. Okay. Yeah, it's... Definitely not done. Parts of it looked cooked, but not all of it. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna let it go for the, for the next hour because this looks very, very wet. <laughs> all right, this is weird. So I think it's actually cooked because it's coming out clean. I think it just has a weird shininess. Oh, you weren't talking to me. No. <laughs> it's really nice out. Are you gonna go for a run or is it too? <laughs> Got some Amazon packages. It's like an easy 15 minute run. Sure. Easy breezy, like why not? Oh yeah, no, it's this is totally cooked. It's just um it just has that consistency. Did you put it the right bag? What yeah. Oh the bottom's a little bit burnt. Oh, why is the bottom burnt? Why why is the bottom burnt? It's okay, it's all done. <laughs> why is the bottom burnt? I only did it for the it minimum has, time. It, well, it gives it it gives it that extra taste, that extra, you know. You Ooh, you're opening the Amazon packages. I think I ordered gel nail polish, 
that was like different shades of mint and it's gonna i'm gonna do a different color on each nail you know what, guys this is totally fine i'm just gonna cut this part off it's it's that simple like the, you no babe that's gonna make it taste like like charred like it's not supposed to taste like that Ooh, gelin what a cute little uh package i'll show you guys when i do my nails all right so let's see these colors i'll link it down below comes with six colors i think one of them's like silver though i'm not sure for that yeah i can see through that little circle this one's like a sparkly silver but the rest look perfect more of a matte gray we have like kind of i mean you guys will see them it's like different shades of blue and mint so i'm gonna use these five on each nail and then I'm going to use just my little gel kit. I've had this for a while from Stally's. All right, guys. So here is how my nails came out. I just threw on a little cuticle oil. Um, so I don't love the green color. <laughs> I think next time I'll just skip it and do like the different shades of blue and the white. But I don't know. What do you think? Do you like the green? I'm definitely not the best painting my nails, so please don't j judge them. But um, it's definitely fun. I really like this trend that people are doing where they're all like a different color. It's fun. So I like them. I'm going to cook us up some dinner and I'll show you guys what I'm making. All right. So I <laughs> this is really bad. But I cut off the burnt part of the cake. And now I am making the frosting with um, some new chattel cheese. <laughs> I don't know if that's the right way. It's just one third less fat cream cheese. Um, I did one little block of those and then I had three quarters of a cup of powdered sugar, half a teaspoon of vanilla. I'm just mixing that. Perfect, it's looking like frosting. And I'm just currently cooking up some chicken. I'm gonna make some chicken and broccoli Alfredo for dinner. Okay, so I saw Remy Ashton use these, and I didn't even know these existed, so we're going to try them out tonight. So these are shaped shirataki that look like pasta noodles. Gluten-free, they're vegan, um, no egg, no dairy, no sodium. I'm just like intrigued by these. They do stay cold. These are shaped like fettuccine noodles, so I need to rinse them and drain them. And then I'm going to throw in the broccoli, the pasta noodles, and some sauce and just like let it simmer so i just drained and rinsed them the nice thing is you don't have to cook them like normal pasta like they're already shaped <laughs> like cooked pasta um i have not tasted one i'm gonna wait until i have like the whole thing together but this is pretty great this is like easy breezy i'm gonna be honest i really don't even know what shirataki is i also totally forgot i have this super cute cake holder and it fits perfectly so we can just leave it stored throughout the rest of the week we'll try it after dinner all right so we are set up at our little tables um linked below are my amazon favorites these tables are from amazon um and we're trying to figure out what we're gonna watch tonight <laughs> i'm really nervous i just hope they're good <laughs> do you hate it no Okay. Which is definitely different, though. Yeah? What's yeah. Is it like a different texture, flavor? The flavor shouldn't be, like, too overpowering. Should no. We... Not the flavor. It tastes like mushrooms. It doesn't taste like mushrooms, the texture. but the texture is like mushrooms. So it's more soft and squishy. Yeah, and not... Like ramen noodles? Ramen noodles are kind of squishy when you cook them. Maybe. I can definitely see how these are... Um, like healthy? Healthy, yeah. Okay. I'm gonna try them. They're very long noodles. Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. You see what I mean? Mm. Right? When I just had a piece of chicken, it was better. Okay. So have it with like a piece of broccoli or chicken. Got it. I don't dislike it though. It's no, just, it's, yeah, it's, like it's I just said. different. It's, not, it's different. For sure. It's very like chewy. Yeah. It's like, I don't know how to describe it. You can't, it's hard. almost like gummy. Yeah. Chewy, chewy. But, there's no flavor to it, which helps, so you can do, like, whatever you want with it. They have rice as well. I feel like the rice would be better because it's small. Mm. Like, tiny little yeah. fractions of it. Yeah. 
But overall, it's a solid option. As long as you take a bite with something else, like some broccoli, I think it's a-okay. All right, guys, so we just finished our dinner, but now we are finally trying the slow cooker carrot cake. I've never made homemade carrot cake before. I'm just starting to make things from scratch. All right. I also didn't have a grater to grate the carrots, so they're I mean, like chopped. I'm always down to try your um, recipes. It looks pretty moist, yeah. right? Am, am, am I going first? Let's go together. Ready? <laughs> yeah. Yep. Mm. It's good. Mm. You like it? Mm hmm. <laughs> oh, way bigger turnout than the pasta. Yeah. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't like it with raisins. I don't either. Well, you can add ooh. pecans if you yeah, want. Yeah, did the recipe ask for like walnuts or some type I said of. It was optional. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm, I like it a lot. Oh, wow. I'm going to eat another piece. Mm. Success. Hello, everyone. Today is Monday. We are starting this week off hot. Making us some air fried chicken for lunch. Um, got up, took my two mile walk, and got some work done already. I've already filmed and edited a video. I'm going to do some more editing this afternoon. Just lots of editing. Um, I want to make sure I give you guys amazing content both for non-members and now that we have the members, I want all the content to be great. Uh, I launched the membership option for my channel today, so that's a separate video and I have a link below if you guys want to just check it out just to know what the perks are, just bonus stuff that I don't usually do, but everything on my channel is staying the same. So, I'm starving. <laughs> it's one o'clock now. So, I like to make like chick-fil-a at home <laughs> by using these they're so so good and then i use a potato bun oh my god it's delicious and this carrot cake last night i'm st i'm still thinking about you i'm still thinking about you and i think i'm gonna whip out the crock pot and just throw in the stuff for chili so i can um just have that simmer throughout the day and it will be super flavorful tonight all right, I just got my chili all prepped, ground turkey, kidney beans, onion, chili powder, paprika, um, garlic powder, cumin, you y'all know the drill. All right, just finished work, did a little laundry, and now we're having chill chill and cornbread. My favorite. I love cornbread. Ooh. Good morning, guys. It is now Tuesday at 10 o'clock in the morning. I just went for a two-mile walk, feeling really good, feeling a lot healthier and stronger since I started walking every day. <clears throat> I just feel better. So I'm about to, I'm going to put on some makeup and do my hair because I haven't done that in a while and I just think it will feel really good. And I want to kind of like take some pics in like a cute outfit outside, just something. <laughs> My Instagram has been just like quarantine, really boring content. I'm like, let's like doll up and take a fun and fresh pic. Um, I think Yara and I are going to take a drive. It's beautiful, beautiful. So I think we're going to take a drive and maybe pick up some takeout from our favorite local restaurant. It's Mexican. It's so good. And just like eat it in the car because <laughs> um, it is really beautiful. You know, you could just like open the windows. We've been eating. When we eat out, we definitely always support local restaurants trying to keep them alive um so i'm gonna do my makeup and i thought you guys could just watch while i do it let's get glam also when i'm walking every morning i'm wearing the super goop glow screen and it's like a glowy sunscreen and it gives you just such like a beautiful sheen on your skin
So we're having a little date in our car, eating nachos. How are your nachos? Delicious. How are your nachos? Our nachos were amazing. We're grocery shopping at Target now on our way home. <laughs> they literally, I don't know why this is so funny. They have regular Cheerios, large Cheerios, family Cheerios, and giant Cheerios. Yes, we got the giant. We got the biggest ones they have. <laughs> we like Cheerios. It's called One Trip. <laughs> go one trip folks yeah you got it all in one trip let's go one trip you all got a couple packages oh, yeah, I, did. I wonder what he got this outfit is linked these jeans are life they're from Target. 10 out of 10 recommend got some packages of my own as well that laura mercier pr shall i open it I say yes. Oh, they were here from a few days ago. We got a new cheese grater, almond milk. We got PR's OJ. He only drinks the home style or the Grove one because it has the pulp he likes. We got chicken breasts. These are my favorite, y'all. These are so good. Cherry limeade. Oh! And then I put some fresh lime in. Oh my gosh, y'all next game. We got them Cheerios, the giant ones. We have Mexican cheese, plain bagel thins, dairy-free cheddar for mama, ground turkey, you already know what it is. A bunch of crystallite. We drink a lot of water. This is a grocery haul. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. I don't know why I'm like saying it in such an aggressive way. One third less fat. <laughs> Check it out. We got your cream cheese with your garden veggies and your one third less fat with your crystal light and then you got what else you got let's see let's see what else you got you got another crystal light do we got more do we got no nope. we got some brussels sprouts oh called it we got some uh, whipped cream cheese and my favorite Yo, my favorite treat and eggs baby that's all so i'm opening up this pr from laura mercier and apparently these are laura mercier's five personal must-have product favorites so first we have the pure canvas primer uh it's hydrating silicone free i don't think i've ever tried this primer from laura mercier so we'll have to try that Ooh, we have this little poof this would be great to apply powder i've been wanting um a little poofy like this <laughs> for like pushing product in on the skin like the powder and all that so we'll try that out Ooh, the translucent loose setting powder so so good then we have Tightline Cake Eyeliner. Never tried it. I do have it, but I've never used it. I haven't been wearing a lot of eyeliner with my lashes. And the Secret Brightening Under Eye Powder. Oh, this stuff is so good. I use this under my eyes all the time. This is great to set your face. And then I've never used this face illuminating powder before either. So next time we get ready, we'll try some of these out. Okay, I also got a few things from my favorite jewelry store called... Miranda Fry, I've talked about them many times. They saw how much I was buying their jewelry and they gave me a coupon code for you guys. It is fearless. So we have some new pieces. So let's try them on. This necklace is from them, um, the little locket and the chain. They have a lot of different lengths for chains. Like if you have a big neck like me, they have a lot of different sizes. This beaded bracelet, the Fashion Jackson is from there fat wrist friendly and the stuff does not tarnish these earrings are so my style look how cute these like thick hoops are oh i love i think these are new love these so this is my favorite necklace and i got another one because i can't find it i don't know what happened but i get questions all the time i think this is the mila chain this is the necklace that i like never took off and it does not tarnish it's like just the perfect length if you have you know like a big neck but you want like a choker vibe because when i buy chokers they don't fit so this is my favorite yeah it's definitely the mila chain and it's got like tiny tiny little beads and they just like sparkle in the sun they also have a lot of cute little ear cuffs which i love i put earrings back in my second and third holes and i I want to put some more trendy earrings in them, like some sort of cool little hoops, but how cute that little ear cuff is. It kind of looks like a twisted little rope. Oh my god, like look at how cool. I sound like such a nerd, but 
I'm just like a sucker for good jewelry. Also have you guys in my food cabinet, so hello. Oh, these earrings are super cool. I saw them on the site. And so like, it's a little circle and a big circle and they go together. Like one goes on the front of your ear and one goes on the back. And then you just like put the little back on the earring. So then you end up getting like a little dangle effect. Super cute. And they just came out with this charm that I can put on this necklace or any of my other chains. And it says, love. Super pretty. Um, I just love being able to mix and match chains and charms. So super cute new pieces. Again, coupon code is fearless if you want a discount. And you're looking for more affordable gold jewelry that like will not tarnish. You can actually wear it and it won't turn you green because I'm really sensitive and my skin always turns green from certain jewelry, but this stuff's the best. And that's it. <laughs> Yo, this is, can you record this? Please? I'm recording. Oh. Oh. Does it feel like you're in the car? Yes. Like for real? Like I'm looking all the way around. I can look to the side. Oh like, yeah, you can see your passenger seat and stuff. Oh, this is crazy. Wait, we got our first VR headset. Oh, this is insane. VR is thriving. He's reviewing it on his channel. I'll link it below, but oh. his reaction is just like too cute. Oh, this is kind of nauseating though. Does it make you feel nauseous? Whoa. Like you're really driving, probably. Yeah, like my brain is. Should I put the volume on here so you can hear what I'm saying? It's okay. All right, so here we have we got Alex, aka fiance. She hates it when I call her Alex, but I <laughs> know it's just different. Uh, she's trying uh, PSVR for the first time, and the and this is her reaction. So we're playing Gran Turismo Sport. She's on the steering wheel right there, and we're, we're gonna see what she thinks about it. For me, I was a bit nauseous at first, so take it easy. And, they, and there you go. So all you got to do is press. Let me see if I can set you up here. Okay. There he you put, go. He put my settings on. So. Yeah, I put your settings on. So. Wow. Ah, am I driving right now? Right now you are. Oh my lord. I feel like I'm looking to see if my hands will move. Oh wait, that means. Oh, oh, no, no, no. I hate that. Oh God. Oh my God. I see what you mean. Where it what? feels like you should feel the jolt. Like, you should feel the jolt, right? Like, when you break, you expect your body to move with it. It was fine when I was going straight, and then when I went to turn, I was like, what? Like, your stomach just like... <laughs> it felt like I was really in the car. That first, yeah. I feel like such a wimp. I'm sorry. No, I was the same one. I, I was the I, I was the same That's one. That's crazy. It's crazy, though, right? I, I think it's something you just got to get used to. Try, try, just keep, go slow and don't turn so quick. Okay. Is this is this on manual? Hold on. Um, I just want to make sure. Give me a second here. Okay. Alright, round two here. Oh wow. I, I, Sl just slow down, slow down. I, Take oh. It. oh my god. Oh my god. How are you doing this, Baba? Like with the intense driving that you do. Yeah. Okay, okay. It's not real. It's not real. I'm taking where's the break? Oh. There you go. Okay. You got this. Just breathe in breathe out and go slow because that's how i had to do i was going a lot slower than i wanted to i see how you have to breathe slow you got to breathe slow because if you like breathe quick and pretend you're driving like you're driving in real life you're gonna get nauseous yeah. you have to just take it easy just like you're driving for the first time because it's a roller coaster ride but if if you look around bub like if you look down at, at your oh my god right it's like you go all the way what the f i'm in the car yeah like, there's a seat right here yeah what the it's the turns that get you right oh my god when i'm going straight i feel totally fine you want to try a different game that's less racy a different game yeah that's that's racy yeah okay yeah 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 and then when you break your body all right guys it's time to make dinner tonight we're just gonna have some chicken breasts and brussels sprouts balsamic glazed and i'm gonna bake them in the oven and roast them it's so good okay so i just cut the brussels sprouts i salt and peppered it after i did it a little toss in some light avocado oil and now i'm going to drizzle on some bull house farms classic balsamic oh my god so good bake them at 425 for 25 minutes and i also threw on a very small drizzle of honey and mogwood 
Lemon, garlic, chicken, and Brussels sprouts. Hey, hey all you cool cats and kittens. <laughs> all right guys, just having a pool day today. It's a beautiful day. Look how cute this little suit is. I'll link it for you guys. It's a beautiful day. Guys, this is so funny. Max is barking at the unicorn float. What is that? Go get it. Go get it. Okay, guys, so it is hours later. I have showered. I have pimple cream on. Rocking this look. Guys, I am a little bit sunburnt, but not too bad. I wore sunscreen. Oh, there it is. There it is. I wore sunscreen. I don't know what happened. Maybe just because it's like the first time I was really out out I don't know either way <laughs> you know when you're sunburnt and you're just like really tired like I just feel like it's like that good tired though it's like that tired after the beach or after you're in the sun all day and it's just like mm. and you just want to snuggle up and like mm. you sleep so good it's like that um so I'm gonna wrap up this vlog here get it edited for you guys start another vlog for next week we have some really fun videos coming out next week yara and i filmed one this morning it'll be coming out on tuesday it's pretty funny pretty interesting very different so hopefully you guys are excited and hopefully you guys enjoyed this vlog and i'll see you guys very soon stay safe bye